We wake up in the Rongo backpackers and all we hear is rain, rain, hail, hail, rain, hail, wind, gusting, rain, hail, ah. Today, Laura and I are becoming radio douche. We are starting our day in the awesome Rongo Backpackers and we won't deny it, it sometimes rains on the west coast of the South Island. So we need to find something indoors to do today despite there being so many awesome great things to do outdoors here in Karamea. So Robin has organised for us to do a radio show this afternoon, but because we are, well, doing that this afternoon, we are spending some time with the hostel woofers at their permaculture farm this morning. But even better than meeting the woofers that we had dinner with yesterday during the potluck, it's meeting the local pet lamb. It is literally the cutest animal I have seen in years. Look at it, it is so playful and it's really tame so it's really used to humans and we arrived with a big bottle of milk which is definitely the way to make friends in the lamb community. So we're here to help, in air quotation marks, feed the lamb but we are just here to revel in the cuteness of this little lamb. It is so adorable, I cannot get over this. I don't want to leave this lamb, I want to live here with the lamb. This lamb is going through this bottle at a lightning speed. It's crazy how quickly he got down this bottle, which looks to be about its size. But then we are head to the actual farm, and that's where we're going to be learning about permaculture. I really had no idea what it was, but it's basically utilizing the patterns and the features observed in natural ecosystem and replicating them in a farm. Instead of having massive rows of lettuce, you will have a row. You will have one lettuce, and then you will have like one cherry tree and then you will have chickens around and all of that will create more fertile soil as well as more organic vegetables. It's a super interesting way of farming. I've never heard of it before. I've never seen anything like that before. And it's quite fascinating. They are in the early stages here, but they are inviting us to come back soon to check it out later. But now we need to prepare our radio show. So we are taking on the roles of DJ Back and DJ Pack to go on to Radio Karamea to host our very own radio show. It's a blessing in disguise that this hostel has its own radio station and this is the perfect activity for day 106 even if it's absolutely atrocious weather outside. Hey guys, my name is Robin and my name is Laura. We are also known as DJ Pack and DJ Pack. Since here at Rongo Backpackers and Karamea FM, we have to pick DJ names. So we are the writer of the website backpackerguide.nz and this year we are taking New Zealand's biggest gap year, spending 365 days on the road and doing 365 activities. Since we're celebrating our 105th day on the road today, we are going to walk you through our first 100 days on the road and play for you our favorite road trip songs. So we'll spare you having to listen to our rambling for over two hours that we were on the air, but we have a link in the description below if you guys really want to listen to that. Laura and I really had fun making our own radio show. We talked about our first 100 days on the road, we laughed, we drank beer, we listened to music that we really loved. It was a lot of fun, despite the fact that I have to say it was absolutely not a professional radio show. It was often awkward and just overall fun. Despite it being awful weather this afternoon, it's really awesome that we found something so cool to do. Somewhere in the middle of our radio show, 
The music turns a bit weird when Robin thinks he's selecting certain songs, but they're actually other songs. For instance, he's playing some random tune from the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. So I feel like on behalf of Backpacker Guy Don Z, I have to make a formal apology to all those who listened to our radio show that day, which was two people in the Rongo Backpackers. I'm so sorry you had to listen to that.